Hello, Jaime. Good evening. When you called up the roster on May 10, has the objective changed to try to uh, call other players that have never played before? Do you think you attained it? Yes, of course. I think there were many players that have never uh, participated in a tournament like this, uh, which is directly below the World Cup. There are other players that were in the Cup but did a didn't have the performance that they've had in other games. Uh, of course, there are certain results or objectives that have not yet been accomplished, but one of them was to move forward. And I believe that the, the team has grown in many aspects. It has always uh, had a good offense. It was strong on the defense, but I think we lacked defining, uh, we could have created a little bit more alternatives and we uh, could have uh, kept a little bit more our goal in order to move forward. Omar Villarreal, Playa Azteca. Clearly, after the elimination, there are many doubts regarding your possibilities. Do you believe you still are the coach that Mexico needs for the World Cup 2026? How do you feel in this regard? Well, whenever a, an objective is not met, there is a certain discomfort and doubts and that's only natural no matter who's here. And um, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, and uh, I've uh, seen it from the outside in many opportunities, but uh, the players kept believing until the very end. That's not easy. It's not easy to create that strong union and that commitment that they showed uh, over these seven weeks, over the whole tournament. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, that decision is not up to me. It is Juan Carlos and Ivar. I, I will submit a report two weeks from now. Um, for me, it was clear. I mean, we had to try to do our best, and unfortunately, we could not make it to the next round. Jaime Sebastián García from Universo. Uh, despite the result that we saw today, what do you believe of Mexican football, uh, considering everything that's happened since Qatar 2022? Look, this is what I was saying today. Today, uh, we were playing against uh, some players that actually are top contenders in the world and we showed uh, that although we were playing a very strong opponent and they came to defend the result that was enough for them they uh, had that advantage against us and we kept trying to win the game all throughout the match and Actually, I'm pleased about their performance, uh, so we need to improve. Of course, we need to improve because it has not been enough for us, but I believe those players can actually have a great growth uh, from now to two years from now. And we come from very good generations that uh, spent a lot of time with our national team, and now there's this possibility of re renovation, and others that were not part of the roster but are also strong and will continue to fight to be part of that uh, team. Gavin Shippen from Orimundo.com. Okay. Uh, controversy for Jamaica versus Ecuador, controversy for Estados Unidos, controversy for Mexico versus Ecuador. Do you agree with eight minutes of injury time? Do you think they should have looked at the handball in the penalty box? And do you have any ideas to improve VAR in the game of football? Espero haber entendido bien. Es el arbitraje, ¿no? Controversia. Mira, a mí... 
I hope I got that right. You are asking about arbitration. I don't like to talk about our, uh, our referees. It is what it is. I believe that we have more and more possibilities. Now there's a bar and uh, we have more tools that allow us to make better decisions. I don't know, especially after an early exit, I don't want to talk about the, the referee. We did our best. We lack defining and whether there was a hand or there wasn't a hand or there was a foul or there wasn't a foul for the bar or for the referee it was not so and here we are hello jaime good night jaime you've just mentioned the term process and it's a term that we've heard from you from all the authorities and all soccer players where is this process going? What is the direction of this process? And what arguments could you share with us in order to think that this process is stronger than ever? Well, I believe that if we look at uh, Uruguay, of course, the result was good. But if we look at how we played against Brazil, which is a superpower, and actually we improved after that, and we maintained that idea against Jamaica, and uh, we've received many goals against us in our friendlies. I believe that now we have a much stronger uh, defense set aside were terrible for us in the past and we were able to defend against that. We received only one goal from a penalty. We still need to find the net. But uh, the teams that actually move forward, of course, they need to score, but also, they need to re receive as few goals as we can, and I believe that our defense has uh, proven very strong in these three matches. And actually, that reassures me, the way they've uh, fought, the way they battled. We have nothing to spare, but we don't like the anything. Either. We don't like anything either. We need to battle for every ball. We need to be convinced that this is the way if we want to achieve something different. I see many arguments in the three matches, considering Brazil as well, to to think that this Ecuadorian team is making a huge effort to compete against any team. And for many uh, periods of time over the three matches, we've actually controlled the games. With Venezuela, where we're very close, we had many alternatives, and today it was a very closed uh, match, and we couldn't score. Hello, coach, uh, Rayo El Mundo. Although there has been an improvement, I think we had the same problem that we had against Venezuela. We were unable to find the net. We only scored one goal against Jamaica in this tournament. So you have seen an improvement in the team, but the process still goes on. So what can we wait from you and for the, the, all the other players that have been involved in this process? What lies ahead? What lies ahead, we're still to see, right? We saw that when we saw the list, that we wanted uh, to make the best in this tournament, which is the last weekend, and we came here to win. And if you didn't see that, I don't know what you were looking at, because we never speculated against any opponent, not even against Brazil or Uruguay, but that's actually the objective, to empower our team to know that we can compete any against anyone and I liked what I saw here, but I also liked what I saw in the cup. Of course, um, the results weren't there, but we have, we still have work to do. I believe that we've improved uh, match after match, and what we've improved uh, the most was the defense. Receiving only one goal against uh, this kind of opponent is not easy. And we need to keep on training our offense because I believe that's where we lacked definition. Enrique Russo, um, that final message with Edson, were you trying like to boost the morale of this team that beyond the processes that you're discussing, this is considered to be a failure, this early exit? 
and another one, this approach. So what do you think is, uh, what are you going to ask for in order to uh, prepare better? Because um, in the World Cup, you were sent home after two games and now only one goal. Venezuela has never played a World Cup and Ecuador had also been sent home in group phase in the last cup. What was it that you first said? The message was that, son. yeah. We got together to tell the soccer players that they've uh, done their best and that we had nothing to be ashamed for, not only in this match, but uh, the eight weeks we spent together. Same thing with Edson, he was very upset, um, particularly because of his injury and not being able to support his team. He it was the first tournament where he was about to be captain. He's extremely proud of his team, but he was very upset that he had not been able to help his team go to the next uh, phase. Yeah, that you cannot find the net. Well, I believe that the hardest thing in football is to make goals, and we need to improve in that regard. And teams throughout history in every league, the ones that better defend themselves are the ones that have a better offense. But we cannot just play not to take any goals. So we are good at defending ourselves. We are getting there. And now we still not, we need that serenity. In this tournament, there were a lot of players with under 20 games in the national team, and they were so anxious to uh, do things right, and probably they rushed the last pass. And I believe that uh, that experience is a great lesson learned for us and will help us do better the next time around. Thank you. Over here, Jaime Miguel Angel Mujica from Periódico Esto. You said that this is not your decision to make, whether you're going to stay with the national team or not. But you should have some argument to give the authorities in order for them to keep you. What is your message to them? Well, this is what I've been trying to explain for a while here. I believe that the team needs an identity. They need a game plan. They need to be a protagonist no matter who they play against. And after Brazil, where we made a lot of improvement, I believe that uh, our team has always play, been very consistent, whether it was CONCACAF or CONMEBOL, it didn't matter. We always tried to control the game based on our analysis of the opponent and based on our strengths and our game ideas. And this is something that with uh, lesser time for the FIFA match, you only get the players a couple of days. Now we had more time to work. And also, this was a limitation. And uh, we are above almost in anything. We're on top. So if we don't compete at the best of our possibilities, it's going to be harder for us. And well, I'm going to write up a report, and we'll see. So, end of the press conference. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Good night.